In this tutorial video, we'll be discussing why Databricks users need CleanLab Studio and how you can easily make use of this new part integration, which empowers you to turn unreliable data into reliable insights and ML models. CleanLab Studio is the first automated solution for data quality to integrate with Databricks. It's well known that real-world datasets contain issues like label errors and outliers. Bad data causes issues like unreliable machine learning models and leaves data scientists spending valuable time correcting them by hand. CleanLab Studio automates this process. Using CleanLab Studio, you can get more value out of your data and train better machine learning models. To illustrate how you can do this, this video showcases a case study on how CleanLab Studio improves large language models trained on your data. In this case study, we find that improving data quality using CleanLab Studio improves the performance of the LLM by 37%. For our data, we will be using a version of the Stanford Politeness Corpus. For each example, we have a phrase, and the goal is to classify it as impolite, neutral, or polite. So, for example, if the phrase is, thanks for contributing, you did a great job, we want the LLM to classify it as polite. The partnership and integration between Databricks and CleanLab Studio is driven by a new connector that will allow any Databricks user to connect to CleanLab Studio using just a few lines of code. For this demonstration, we are using a Databricks notebook that utilizes PySpark data frames for data processing. The connector works with Pandas as well. With one line of code, users can push their local data to CleanLab Studio to utilize all of its amazing features. Once they're finished, users can export their data from CleanLab Studio back into the notebook and automatically merge the changes. Let's hop into the notebook. In the first experiment with the original training data, we see that after fine tuning we get 65% accuracy on the test set, which is pretty lackluster considering this is a three class problem and we're using an extremely powerful LLM. Let's use CleanLab Studio to see what might be causing this. To use CleanLab Studio, you'll need to set up an account at app.cleanlab.ai. Once inside Studio, you'll see a few template data sets and projects curated to help you get started. CleanLab Studio has lots of features from improving data quality for many types of data sets to fully automated model training and deployment. In this video, we're focusing on improving the quality of a text classification dataset. Before we head back to the notebook, let's copy our API key, which we can find inside my account. We'll need that in a second. Back in the notebook, all you need to do to utilize CleanLab Studio with any Databricks dataset is pip install and import the CleanLab Studio package. Paste your API key that you copied from your Studio account a few moments ago into the Studio constructor to authenticate yourself. All that's left to do here is push our dataset to CleanLab Studio. The Databricks connector for CleanLab Studio has built-in support for Spark data frames. So this just takes one line of code. Call studio.uploaddataset and pass in your data frame. Let's head back to CleanLab Studio to find and correct issues in our data. Now that we've run the Databricks connector for CleanLab Studio, our dataset from Databricks is available here. We only need a few more steps until we can start correcting our data. First, select Create Project. Then, choose your data modality. We're using text. Select the text and label columns. We recommend using the regular model as it will produce the most accurate results. If time is not in your favor, you can use the fast one. Awesome, we're one step closer to cleaner data. You'll know your project is ready when the status says Ready for Review. It looks like CleanLab Studio has inferred that this dataset contains 569 issues. Because these issues are algorithmically inferred, they're not perfect, but generally super helpful. We'll see in the next step how to utilize Studio to help you fix them. Once you're ready, click on Ready to Review to start improving your data. Here we are in the project view, which contains many powerful tools and added information to help you resolve label issues and outliers. This is what you'll see before you've started to correct your data. Each example from the original data set is represented here, ranked in increasing order by their label quality score. The gray header denotes which columns existed in the original dataset, while the blue header denotes columns that CleanLab computed. The suggested column provides you with the label that CleanLab predicted to be most accurate. The corrected column displays a label that has been chosen after correction. This will just be empty until further action is taken. The quality score estimates how confident CleanLab Studio is that the given label is actually correct. It ranges between 0 and 1, with values near 0 indicating examples that are potentially mislabeled. Finally, the action column describes how each issue has been resolved, or unresolved if it's not been modified yet. You can also click the numbers at the top to directly select label issues, outliers, or all examples.
Before you dive into cleaning, a great place to start is the analytics page. Here, Studio provides us with visual representations of label distributions and suggested corrections. You can use these graphs to help you gain an understanding of possible issues in your data. In the first chart, we can see that the impolite class has the most label issues, followed by polite and then neutral. In the next plot, it's easy to see that the most common issue is examples labeled as impolite that may actually be neutral. You can also directly click on the graph to automatically filter the data to match the type of issue shown. Let's examine examples labeled as polite that might actually be impolite. It seems that this example is in fact mislabeled and should be labeled correctly as impolite. Instead of selecting from the analytics page, you can also set filters directly here at the top. Up to this point, we haven't actually improved any of our data. To begin, let's look at the resolver window, which provides us with everything we need to start fixing labels. For each example, Studio provides you with the given and suggested labels, the quality score, and whether or not that example is an issue. To begin fixing issues, select the action that you determine is best for each example. You have the ability to keep the given label, use the Studio suggested label, or choose any of the other classes via the relabel option. You can click exclude this example to mark outliers and toss out data that is out of distribution or that does not belong in your data set. This data will not be deleted, only excluded from insights when you export your data or when you train a model on your data set. If you'd like to flag an example to correct at a later time or select examples for a different user to correct, you can choose needs review. The first example is not English, so let's exclude this example. This example is labeled as polite, but I think it is neutral which is also what CleanLab Studio automatically suggested with 93% confidence. The numbers next to the labels tell you how confident CleanLab Studio is when it suggests corrected labels. This one is labeled as impolite, but I like the suggested label of neutral better. Great job so far. We've corrected a few problems manually. To speed up our cleaning, we can use the autofix feature. Select the autofix icon at the top and set the K value. This value determines how many data points will be automatically corrected to the CleanLab suggested label. Note that this will not override your manually corrected labels. Let's auto fix the top 250 label issues, which is about half of the total number found. If you look closely, you can see that we have jumped forward to label issue 251. You can navigate back to look at the auto corrections or continue the correction process from here. That was much faster than using edit mode, but might not be as accurate. You should use your knowledge of the data combined with the analytics and filter tabs to determine the balance of manual and automatic corrections necessary. Once you've made corrections, you can click Rerun CleanLab, which will retrain CleanLab Studio on your data, taking into account the corrections you've made. This will most likely provide more accurate suggested labels. Another cool feature of CleanLab Studio is automated suggestions for multiple annotation datasets. If you provide multiple annotators with associated annotations, CleanLab Studio can tell you which of your data sources is the noisiest, so you can improve how you collect your annotations. Now that we're happy with our newly cleaned data, let's export it from Studio back into our notebook by selecting Export Clean Set and then Export Using API. Copy your Clean Set ID shown here and I'll meet you back in the notebook. Let's paste in our Clean Set ID here to pull all of the changes we made in CleanLab Studio into our notebook. We do this by using the Studio.apply Corrections method, which gives us a Spark data frame that's just like our original data set, but with the exclusions and label corrections applied to the data set. Now, let's examine the impact of this improved data we got using CleanLab Studio. Let's fine tune the LLM on this improved data and see what kind of performance boost we get. After doing so, we see that data quality has a huge impact on LLM performance. By simply improving the data quality and leaving the original LLM checkpoints, training parameters, fine tuning process, etc. as is, we have reduced prediction error by 37%. Time for a quick recap of the use case in this demo. Using your original dataset, we fine-tuned an LLM and got a baseline accuracy of 65%. Thinking that we may have some issues with our data, we used the new connector to upload our local dataset into CleanLab Studio to automatically detect issues. After improving the quality of our data, we merged the corrections back into our local dataset with the connector. After fine-tuning a new model and evaluating the test set, we found the data quality has a huge impact on the performance of LLMs as we were able to increase accuracy to 78% from 65%. 
Although we looked at one specific use case, CleanLab Studio has many more to offer like business intelligence and analytics, data quality and trust, and understanding the noise in your data. In case you're not convinced yet, let's look at labelerrors.com, which illustrates why you always need to check the quality of your data. Here are hundreds of examples of label errors found by CleanLab Studio in widely used benchmarking datasets like Google's QuickDraw, MNIST, and ImageNet. In fact, it's known that even gold standard benchmark datasets have upwards of 10% incorrect labels. You can imagine how issues like these in your data can decrease model performance and lead to time and money wasted. All of these issues are easily and quickly fixable using CleanLab Studio, which means less time and money spent doing tedious work. In this case study, we use text data, but you can also utilize Studio in nearly the exact same way for tabular, image, audio, and other data modalities. Let's check out the WebVision image dataset that's included as a template for all new users and see what issues Studio has found. It looks like this dataset is quite noisy with 6,200 label issues and nearly 1,300 outliers found. Here's a bald eagle that was labeled as a Carolina anole. We can see here Studio has automatically suggested the correct label of bald eagle. Check out these outliers. These clearly should not be present in this dataset as they don't belong to any of the classes. In this video, we saw how powerful CleanLab Studio can be for improving machine learning model performance by improving your data. You can easily improve the quality of your own data using the Databricks connector for CleanLab Studio. Get started today at cleanlab.ai.